Dateline 3D. Nothing says date movie like a 3D ride to hell. Town, and one of the things, when, when you think of coal and you steal milk, of course, you think of Pittsburgh, and, uh, and now you've tarnished that for life in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're welcome, all those guys, and those uh, you know, the volunteers that came on and helped us. I, yeah, I got to start off before we talk about Blade Bond. My sister Lori and I are supernatural freaks. I mean, every week, did you see Supernatural? And, nice. And, and I, I'm not a horror fan. I hate horror movies, and I, I was present for the entire movie. I didn't see a lot of it because, luckily, with an axe pick swing, right. I would I would know enough to close my eyes or not look because <laughs> I, I get it. But uh, Supernatural has been really bloody this year, which has kind of prepared me for this movie. You know, Good. Exactly, yeah. You know. yeah, it's like an appetizer to the to the main course. <laughs> Absolutely. And and one thing when you talk about the three. D. Uh, people think of 3D of things jumping out of screen, which happens here. But there's also it's just a beautiful film, like depth of field. I just was so amazed that it just looked like you were like you could stick your hand out and like you know everything had uh, it was so real. Looking. Yeah, yeah, it was very tangible. Like, oh, yeah. and, and I, I remember after the, I was saying uh, the first time I saw it, I I wanted to see everything in this format. I wanted to see you know sports and news and everything because it's it's such a, an engaging format. Dude, can you imagine football in 3D? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, be like, with this, with this, these things. I'm surprised, like, Mark Cuban hasn't gotten ba basketball in 3D yet. Right. Which, you know, yeah. I'm sure he will. But, uh, yeah, sports in this would just be, it'd be crazy. Now, with, with the element of a horror movie, one of the things you have is everyone's a suspect. Yeah. You, I mean, your character could be the bad guy, could not be the bad mm -hmm. guy. Do you play that as an actor? Do you always give that edge, like, eh, it could be me, it could not be me? Could well, that was, I think that was a big plot of the show. Or a big plot of the, the you know the film was the fact that there had to be several suspects. There had to be you know the audience had to be could be constantly kind of changing. Oh, it could be this. It could be this. And that's hard to do in, in with today's audience because they're you know I, th I think they're a lot more savvy as far as like picking out the tells or uh, you know not letting the uh, uh, the hook at the end of the movie really get them. You know they they look for that kind of thing these days. So um, to really kind of be able to to throw curveballs in film these days, it's it's getting increasingly tougher. And uh, I, th I think he did a good job. I, you know, I think it was uh, a lot of people were kind of like, ah, I think it might be this guy. No, it's got to yeah. be this guy. And, and um, I had a few people after the premiere last night come up to me and was like, I didn't think, I didn't think this, man. And yeah. then they came and it happened and then boom, you got me. Now, do you, I, do you think Harry could be the next Jason? <laughs> uh, you know what? If it, if 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 it comes down to that, good for him because yeah. that's a, that's a, a very lucrative franchise. On the set, when they do, do they just have like extras and stuff, pe bodies lying around? <laughs> Is that like a cool <laughs> thing to uh, just? You know? um, well, a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of that kind of gory stuff was was just simply prosthetic, you yeah. know, limbs and pieces and chest cavities and and uh, you know, and I, I think I said if <laughs> corn syrup ever had a smell, I definitely know what it is now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and that's but that's that's kind of indicative of, of these kind of thriller slasher horror movies, and this is this is one thing I love about this movie is it's not it's not trying to be something, you know, new and inventive. It's it's a throwback to those old kind of great horror movies, but it's done with this incredible technology, and um, so I think you know I think people who are expecting to go and, and it be like you know a saw or, uh, or or some some kind of really psychedelic uh, type of, of a horror movie. It's not. This is a this is your good old fashioned you know, Thrasher movie, but it's set with this amazing, you know, high definition 3D, and it's uh, it's it's like a ride. It's like a, it's like a roller coaster ride. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, thank Can't you. Can't wait much. for Supernatural to come back. Yeah.